all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we they bring you back to back update and information as it is hot and in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe to our channel as it is hot it don't shell it don't shell it any naya abari be one of the senators uh, that uh, I myself I so much respect until he started uh, doing hanky panky with the things that concern the indigenous people of Biafra has come out to say that um Igbos are not scattered they they are in synergy uh, because many other uh, uh, tribe ethnic you know ethnic um, a, a group has started looking at what is happening around the Igbo. They are wondering, is this not Ndi Igbo we used to know? The Ndi Igbo that used to go to another man's country, another man's country, develop, buy land, give birth to children, become citizens, become kings there. They are wondering now, what is happening among Ndi Igbo? Because one of their sons, Mazenam the Kano, Ohamadike one of Ndibu. He has been in the DSS custody for two years plus, and Ndibu has not been able to do anything. Now, when this other ethnic uh, uh, group, people like the Fulanis, the Yorubas, the Hausas, Arewa, started wondering what is happening among Ndibu. They started criticizing Ndibu that Ndibo cannot even come together among themselves to do things, to even bring synergy among themselves. And this tribe, this tribe, this ethnic group started wondering now that it looks as things, as if things have changed among Ndibo themselves, and Enyuna Abaribe woke up and decided to de defend Ndibo, to say that um, Ndibo are people who are together. And um, Ndibu all over the world, those in the Obodo and those in the diaspora, I believe that all of you know that for us to achieve what we have been looking for, in order to meta Obodo and Choko Odemma, everybody has to be together. Because this division among Ndibu is causing catastrophe and chaos so in all over Obodo. And I'm um, in Abaribe. Even though he's a respected senator who have been outspoken in the house of the Senate, you know, once upon a time he started kicking against Mazi Simon Eba, the Prime Minister of the Biafra uh, Republic government in exile, saying so many things about Eba. Uh, but as he starts now, it looks as if he has started changing uh, because he has started talking about the synergy, the togetherness between Ndibo and then self let's go back to that information let me take you so that you can see what any naya abaribe is saying concerning Ndibo, his people he said no evil man voted p2b because he is Igbo. they voted him because he is the best person he is the best person senator any naya abaribe former senate minority leader and senator Representing Abia South Senatorial District, Senator Enyuna Abaribe has dismissed insinuations that the Igbo lack synergy among themselves to produce a president like other regions. Abaribe, who spoke on Signature TV, cited the backing Labour Party Party, Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi got from Igbos in the last presidential election to justify his assertion. He added the Igbos didn't vote Obi because he is Igbo, but that they saw him as the best person to tackle our economic challenges. He said Igbos don't love themselves, but what happened during the last election? It Obi took all the votes in Igbo land, and everybody who complained went to check and found out that he was correct. Why? Because Igbo saw him as the best person to run our economy at this point. That we need a sane, sober, very meticulous and prudent person to run the government. When asked, maybe they voted him because he was an Igbo man. He said, no, Igbo voted him because he was an Igbo man. 
They voted him because they saw him as the best person and stand to be challenged by anybody. And that is why we could see that his appeal was country wide. Meanwhile, at the last concluded election, the Igbo people was not the only people to, that um, voted P2B. One thing that Nigerians don't understand is that the Igbos are the most patriotic as far as Nigerian politics is concerned. Now, somebody might be asking him, Oh, Mr. Nokopus, can you prove that the Igbos are the most patriotic when it comes to Nigerian politics? Even though the reason why the Igbos decided to exit Nigeria and have a nation of their own, because I know that 90% uh, of Igbos want to exit Nigeria and have a, a country of their own, which is called the land of Biafra. The reason is because the, 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 the agreement that brought about Nigeria uh, during the time of um, Lord Lugard has been, you know, has been forgotten by the Yorubas and the Hausas and other ethnic group in Nigeria. Meanwhile, if you look at what is happening in Nigeria, you will find out when it comes to appointment, both in the military, both in the police, uh, both in the civil defense, both in the uh, road safety, you find that the Igbo people are receiving uh, a kind of low appointment uh, when it comes to the matters um, that concerns this nation. And that has been a problem. And this is what is causing what is happening in, uh, in Nigeria. And um, with reports we have gotten from other countries, many people believe that if the Nigerians want Nigeria to be fixed. They should be able to make an Igbo man the president of this nation. And that way, Nigeria will fix. But many people do not believe in the Igbo man uh, because they believe that the Igbo man is a saboteur and he is going to, you know, a kind of um, jeopardize the politics of Nigeria. But since the Igbos have left the politics of Nigeria to other ethnic groups, you see that things has n is not working out. Ever since 1960, after Nam Azikiwe became the prime minister, the president of Nigeria, when um, Isi Tafalo Belowa was the, 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 the prime minister, uh, you you find out that things is not actually working out because since then Nigeria has been going backward. And the leadership of Nigeria has been between the, 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 the Hausas, the Fulanese, the Yorubas, and the South South people. And the Igbo people has not been given the opportunity to be able to showcase their talent, their ability, their capability, whether they are able to run this country or not. And because of the envy on the Igbo man, the other, other ethnic group has not been able to give the Igbo man the opportunity to become the president of this nation. And if you can see, you see that Nigeria is going backwards. Yes. Around 1960, 1961, 62 to 1970, the flight ticket to America was around 17,000. But as it stands now, if you check the flight ticket to America, London now, you'll be clocking about four to five million naira because the economy of Nigeria has not been stable. When uh, Good Luck Ebele Jonathan was the president of this country, because a kind of his has the evil blood in him, he was able to manage the economy of this country to a particular point. When dollar was 160 and dollar rose from 160 to 65, from 65 to 70, from 70 to 80, from 80 to 85, and that was the minimum, the maximum that the United States dollar went up to. But now, when the economy was handed over to an a Fulani man, which is um, Buhari, Muhammad Buhari, the economy, the, 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 the United States dollars went from that 185 to 200, 200 to 300, 400, 500, 600 to 700. There was even a time dollar was up to, it was closing to 1,000. And now the leadership has also been given to a Yoruba man. And you can see that the dollar as of today, uh, 28th of August, is close to 900 and something dollars. Now, why not give an Igbo man this position? 
And that is why the Igbo, the Igbo man has feel that he has been marginalized when it comes to the leadership of Nigeria and he felt that he needs to have a country of his own which is called Biafra in order for him to exercise his talent, his, his God-given gift so that everybody will be able to see it because the Igbo man has been marginalized when it comes to Nigeria. Meanwhile, if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, you are still with your one and only Nyoko Push Master. Kindly go ahead and subscribe to our social media handle, like, comment, share.